I'm Lee. And today, what are we doing today? We are looking at some uh, some more of the affordable range of bases that might be out there for uh, some beginners just starting off and thinking, what do I what do I look at? Because there's always been the the, uh, the 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 big names that have always been around in the market. So, like Squire, like you see here. But we thought we'd say hello to the new boys, see what they got on on offer. Okay. So, so this is Squire versus Sire. Ah, uh, I see what you've done. Right. Like it. Sire versus Squire. Squire That's a good reason Sire. to make a show right there. Absolutely. <laughs> Think of the title first and work it out later. That's the way. <laughs> okay, so, so, so I guess these are similar price points? They are, yes. So you're looking just around, all on, both on £250. Pounds. Okay. Um, this one is 234 Okay. and your one there is 216 Okay. Um, so I thought we'd just um, go for the guys, this is just like specs, what, what you're looking at on, on either or. Um, and then to see what we what we think, mate, and what we prefer out of out of the two. Because okay. say these guys and um, that you know, there's there's been some entry bases, same with guitars as well. Certain brands that seem to just be it is the one you go for as you start a bass or guitar. Um, well, there certainly are a lot of good value bases out there, aren't they? Definitely, because I mean, Ibanez yeah. also do a really good value bases. Absolutely, yeah, they start from anything about 170, 160 pounds up, you know, yeah. as well. So. Um, but you know the, these guys have been around for a long time. Also, they make beautiful instruments and they know what they're doing. But you know it's good to look at these the, the, the newer guys as well because they're who they're competing with. And obviously, they try and add a little bit more value for money sure. to, to compete with the big guys. You know, so um, and uh, if you're a bass player, you probably you might have started hearing about this um, this brand already because it, it's, it's turning some heads. Hmm. Um, but as a beginner, first starting going into it, you might not have, and it's definitely one to have a look at. As you know, if you're looking at this sort of price point, so okay, all right. Well, so let's have a look at the spec on this one first. Yeah. So you have uh, the Squire Affinity PJ. Okay. Base. So you've got um, it's a P base shape, um, which um, it really reverts to. Uh, it's, the re reverts this doesn't make the re 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 <laughs> This is uh, your, your classic. Uh, shape bass well isn't it that's it so this is one of the first um electric bases well the first electric bass um and this is one of the new modern incarnations of that okay um, the, the modern bit being originally it just had this pickup yeah and then later on they shoved that one on, uh, which turns it into a pj a pj a pre precision jazz yeah, exactly look at that so it's a precision bass with a jazz pickup uh, shoved in the back there as well that's right yeah okay and and, and, that, and, <laughs> and that is uh, this is all the body um, you've got uh, a lovely maple neck, and they use Indian laurel as the fingerboard now on the, uh, on the squirrel. Uh, on the squirrels. <laughs> the squirrels. <laughs> the squires. That's nuts. Oh my god, what's happening, man? <laughs> <laughs> on oh the my... squirrels. Yeah. Oh, I don't know what you're drinking, but I'll have some of that. <laughs> I thought it was just coffee, but. Um, <laughs> so, um, uh, yeah, and, and say so you've got the split base, P base pickup, bridge pickup, like you said, volume for each and one overall tone. And uh, it's passive. Passive bass, yeah, absolutely. So that means um, it's just drawing from, so it's just the pickups going through the, the circuitry out into your amplifier. Um, compared to active, where this has got another extra extra bit of power and, and gain that comes out from its own preamp that's okay, built what, in the bass. Oh yeah, so active uh, gives you more tonal variations. Because you can cut and boost frequencies and do all that sort of stuff. Right? That's it. Boost! Um, you can indeed, yep. Yeah. So you've got a little bit more scope. Um, uh, which actually, I'll run you through this one. So you can, you can take that out if you needed to. So if you wanted to revert to a, a passive sound, which there's a slight difference in you know in it and anyway, just to, if you're not either boosting or cutting things, there's always like a little little bump. Um, but um, this one you're looking at this is mahogany body instead of alder. Okay. With the Sire V3, um, they've got maple neck like yours. Okay. This is actually rosewood still. They're using rosewood. Right. So I know that's what's going on with. Uh, the rosewood around around the world. That's, there's, not, there's that's some... a more traditional material to make yeah. a fretboard out of. Absolutely, and uh, and and Sire are responsibly sourcing these. They're allowed to, you know, say do it. It's all it's all uh, bagged and it's tagged all with all the, it's all legit with the regulations stuff. Yeah, absolutely. Um, <laughs> but you'll find, say, a lot of these big boys now that obviously need like 
you know, obviously so much more Rosewood to, mm. to be to be playing with than because how much they sell. Um, at the moment, they're trying to find alternatives to to, to, to Indian Rosewood. So, okay. but yep. you get on here and um, two jazz bass pickups on this. Okay. So um, instead of the, the split P bass sound, yep. you got more of the, the standard jazz. Okay. Um, uh, this what's this pickup going to give you um, tonally then uh, over that one? Is this kind of it's a fatter? It tends to be. Yeah, you kind of get more of. Uh, that's that this sound. Uh, this word comes out quite a lot, but th that throaty P bass sound, where it, right. it is very uh, a very wooden sound that you, you get out of this. It's, so it's, just, it's a thicker, isn't it? Round sort of. Yeah, tongue, it tends yeah. to be. This this will get. It's very very smooth, uh, especially with both pickups on. You kind of get that natural kind of mid right. scoop out of a jazz bass, don't you? But so, then I guess if you've got the active, you can fiddle about with that. Exactly. Uh, give yourself more bottom end and scoop yep. the mid out and do whatever you want. Right? Exactly. You know, you can just pick up that the the P bass. Or that net neck pickup, yeah, and just play around to to get very very close to what you get out of a split pickup as well. So, right. um, but yeah, this is where the, the magic happens with the sire, because um, you've got an eighteen volt preamp, so you've got your two batteries on the back, okay, like so. Um, and uh, I see some holes on the back there, so I guess oh, this is, yeah, you've got mentioning your, you've got through body. Stringing, stringing yeah if you want and then can you do the and bridge you can, too? You can indeed. Oh, okay. So that would tend to give you a little bit more of a zing. To the sound. Okay. This will give you just a bit more sort of tuning stability. So this one doesn't have that, obviously. That this is doesn't. No. Just through Good the bridge. Shout. Right. Yeah. So that's an option on that they put put for you guys. And then that's this is your active passive switch. So this is where you can just revert back to a normal passive sound if you didn't didn't really want to play with the the electronics here. Um, but engage that, and uh, and it gives you control over the whole whole preamp. So right. that is bass frequency. You've got mid frequency here, so you've got the amount of, so if what, how much you're boosting or cutting, and then to actually pick the, the frequency you want to highlight right. under here. This is your treble. Uh, this is your pickup balancer. So whether you're using just a bridge, uh, or both together, or neck or on its own. And then you've got master volume and overall tone. Right. Which is quite nice. But this is what the tone that you use in passive mode. If you didn't want to use all the rest, right. um, but also that's one thing that Sire are doing that it's just it's still an overarching tone if you're in active mode as well. So it does warm it up or brighten it up a little bit if you want to. Okay. So straight away, even if just talking about you know, there's there's a few more options with the preamp on this. Yeah, and um, the, so for about another eighteen quid, yeah, you're gonna you know obviously there are there are some some nice additional things on this base uh, yeah absolutely yeah and, okay. and this is where you this is where you try to start to see just these uh, uh sort of lesser known at the moment brands that say just trying to put something else that will just get them above above them at the big boys sure thing yeah. um but then you know there's a reason why squire and fender have been around so long you know that sound is is great you know of course. It, it is great but um obviously this is a um uh, paying homage to the fender jazz bass um obviously in this style um but say this is just a modern modern take on what you can do with the preamps on it. Cool, all right. Well, so that's, that's enough nattering, I guess. People want to know what they sound like. If you play the thing, I'll uh, I'll sort of go through the controls. Cool. Uh, yeah, obviously you've got less controls on this. It's a lot simpler. Like you said, you've got uh, two volumes and tone. That's it. Okay. Overall tone. Yep. Uh, all right. Let's. So we'll start off with uh, the back pickup. Cool. And then I shall go to the front pickup, fiddle about the tone, and then when I both together and uh, see what we get. Sounds like a plan. Hit it! Hit it! So there we go. Uh, yeah, it didn't take too long because, um, like I say, they're pretty pretty basic. Those controls. Um, yeah. How is it to play? It's really nice to play. Yeah. Yeah. yeah it is really nice. It's um, uh, it's got a nice satin finish on the back of the neck. I mean, um, 
I, we'll compare it to that one's a little bit smoother, to be honest. But it, it's right. it's very very nice to play. Okay. I like the sounds. You know, it just does does sound great, and yeah. that that split uh, neck pickup does just give everything you want with that that you know that P bass sound. If you if you're up for it, and I love the color. That's a very funky color. Yeah. I love it. I like that. Too. Racing red. Yes. This is. Very cool. All right, so while that's still fresh in people's minds, yes, right. So I'm going to do the same thing here. Then uh, this is going to take a bit longer because uh, we got uh, some more options on this one. So we'll start off passive, and we'll go through the pickups. Cool. On the passive tone, and then we'll go active and do the same thing. Nice. If you can keep up with all of that. Right. See you uh, on the side. Uh, oof, uh, well, let me just remember that's. Oh yeah. Coming. Right. That's the uh, one. Tone off. Tone off. Uh, tone off. Back pickup. Who do? There you go. Oh, loads to play with, man, isn't yeah, there? Yeah, isn't yeah, there? yeah, yeah, yeah. There you go. There That's you go. sounding great with the mid frequency, mm. that sweep on it, and these are just. Yeah. Well, I think the, the obvious difference is just the, the tonal palette you've got here. Yeah. I mean, you've just got so many different sounds you can get out of this. <laughs> Absolutely. And, and this is the thing I, I, I would like to say to people as well just don't be scared of this sort of thing <laughs> no because that's how i used to be i think i used to be uh, you know I've, I've played standard jazz basses for years but um I've always been a little bit scared of that active sound and uh, and I, I i don't know why now looking back on it you know because it's um i always remember active sounding just oh it's too much treble too much trouble having that thing in my head yeah but um it really is well you can you can abuse it certainly oh yeah oh yeah but as we've just seen there uh, you know, you've got lots of different options. Plus, with this yeah. one, if you don't want the active, just turn it off. Turn it off? Yeah, exactly. So, uh, best of both worlds, really? Yeah. Try and it, it does play really nice. I'd say, yeah, uh, that's the next question. How does that play then? Yeah, this is, um, I think there's something to do with the, the finishing on the back of the net. This is very, very, very smooth. Mm. Um, even though that was lovely to play, that feels a lot, uh, a little bit rougher, to, to be honest. This this is a very, very well finished neck. Okay. Um, and I mean, like, like we've seen with with, with Sire, I think that their quality control is is amazing. There's not many that have come through yet with 
with some uh, sort of major issues. Um, okay. The setups are pretty pretty decent as well when they come out straight out of the box. Yeah, I mean, so. it, it's worth mentioning when when I got this one out, um, the action was was way high. I had to I had to tighten the truss rod up a lot. Um, so if if you are sort of a, a novice or or don't know technically what to do with the bases, it's worth uh, thinking about the fact that if you just do buy it sort of mail order it might turn up you know in not a particularly playable condition so you know you either tweak it yourself it's not difficult mm. um, you know we're, uh, in the case of this it was a, you've got an adjuster here and i guess it's the same oh no you've got the adjuster here on this one just down there yep and an allen key and you just have to tighten the truss rod up uh, if you want to pull the neck back or slacken it off if you want to do the neck go neck forward one. yep um you know because i don't want people to be put off if the if your base turns up and it's unplayable you're going to um, go, oh, I can't play this, and put it on eBay and give up. So, absolutely. Um, no, 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 it's right. It is right. I mean, this is where we... Um, I guess it's, obviously it's, it's, uh, th this would be uh, the plus of, of getting it from a store directly, I guess. If you Absolutely. I mean, I know we, we try and we... Um, in store, we try with any customer that, that, that wants it. We'll actually get out all the, let's say, all the gear, um, check the setup, check everything before, you know, before walking out the store. Yeah. Um, obviously, it's, it is harder to do because um, we've got thousands of guitars coming th going through, as you, you can imagine, every, every day. Yeah. Um, so it's hard. We try and QC some of the the, um, the guitars that we know they've had problems in the in the past. You know, um, generally um, squires quality, size quality. You know, it's, it's you don't have to even think about it. You can just it will go out. But as you found, which very interesting with this mate, say we did have to do it adjusting, mm. um, and it's very right. You know, say don't feel like that. You have to put up with that. You know, that's um, that's something that is just purely as it's shipped from where they're built. Temperatures change, it, it, bases will move, guitars will move. Of course, because they're, they're made of wood, right? Exactly. Yeah, um, exactly. Well, that's what wood does. It, it shrinks and, yeah, and it contracts it. and expands. And uh, and that's why they have these uh, truss rods. You know, exactly. So you can so over the do years, exactly that. You, yeah. you can adjust it if needs be. But uh, it's just a little, it's a thing to think about. You know, if you are buying it mail order from whoever, uh, you know, it might turn up, you know, not not in as a plan as good as it might be. Not really to go straight on stage. So that might but, be another cost you just have to think about factoring in. You know, and if that, you want to go and get it set up somewhere. Yeah, no, that's it. And it's like, I mean, think over the years, beginner, well not beginner, the more affordable range, say like the, what we're talking about here, has has improved so much, hasn't it? Like you see, see I remember when I first started working in shops and, um, and you just put up with, oh yeah, that's the 150 quid base, or that's the 200 quid base that, Oh man, the frets would be sharp, you know, like the action. Oh you just yeah, be they, used, to, they you know. used to be stuck out the edge. I remember yeah. that. They used, to, they used to come away with these sort of lacerations yeah, yeah, all yeah. up your fingers, you know, where the frets would be stuck in. So you know that. So that sort of thing is getting a lot, lot better, you know. And um, so, uh, but it is those those minor tweaks that maybe on the slightly more affordable stuff, because there's they're churning out so many of these, you know, they might not have the time that you get on some slightly more expensive stuff where they obviously it's a little more hands on and you know a little more detail in the finishing, but. Uh, but all in all, yeah. I, I just also with the fender, you get this free online. Um, lesson thing. I, I've never, shout. have you ever checked this out? I, 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 not, I haven't been on the actual um, the the lessons part, but I've been on the new um, uh, the fender play um, sort of website and everything. Yeah. So, and and there's some good things on there, some really good things. Um, but yeah, you get a free thirty day trial of that with with any squire. Okay. Um, and then what you moment. pay for it afterwards? Too, and then you have to start paying. I think it's a monthly subscription thing to, okay. to, to get involved. But well, I haven't um, personally tried that, but uh, you know, it might be might be a nice thing. You know, oh, definitely, especially if you're first starting off. You know, even just how to sit with the bass, how to sit, and you know, how to rest your arm properly, how to use your left hand, all that sort of stuff will be covered. Yeah. Um, and it's some of the stuff that is so important because you ride past that in the early stages and put up with a, a slightly weird technique you might have picked up, yeah. it can... Oh, but then it might make you... Be a pain. Uniquely brilliant, so who knows? Very true, very, very true. <laughs> Look at that. Or not, I don't know. Oh, no. Who knows? <laughs> you know, you see some dude playing it like this one day. You go, yeah, this man. Is that how you do it, Yeah, like, like this. Like, like that. Oh, yeah, man. Yeah. He's got a really unique got thing that. going yeah. on. <laughs> you never know. You never know. I think I did. I, I, <laughs> <laughs> all right, so anyway, well, we've digressed massively. That's, no, 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 it's all good. Um, well, I mean... To sum up then, I mean, you know, what, what, what do you think? I think for the extra 18 quid, yeah. I know where I, I would go. I think that this, this brand is really, really making some waves, and, 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 and rightly so, because of how, how much detail they put into that finishing and knowing that even at 230 quid... They're they I mean, their start of it. It should be said that that is they're very reasonable, isn't it? Two two thirty. It's really really. I, mean, reasonable. I, I dare say you could buy cheaper bases. 
Oh yeah, yeah there'd be some about 150s and 140, but but I would imagine the quality would be uh, seriously. Uh, and, and you don't get anywhere near this this amount of control. No. Um, so they, they, this is it. This is if there's anything and anyone that comes in the shop, I always try and put these in in, in people's hands now. But you know, along with the, the squires and the Samibanes stuff that we'll, um, we'll look at as well. But um, but yeah, the, uh, it seems to be that you know make make uh, let them make the mono wind up, and it's normally this that, yeah. that is. Um, well, that that does seem to represent it's amazing through. value for money. It does. You know, you get a lot of base. Uh, two, like I say, two hundred thirty pounds. It's you know relatively is not a lot to spend on a on an instrument. It's not, and, and you're getting a hell of a lot for that. No, you're too right, too right. And um, and say this is slightly different um, to the traditional kind of jazz. Sound. You've got mahogany body, but mm. again, thinking if there's anything to do with the tone, you you can again play around with any of that. So you're not going to really hear the mahogany as it were instead of the alder. But right. but um, you've got all that capability just to say brighten up, lower it down if you need. Um, so yeah, no, I think these have been really, really, really impressive. Two hundred and thirty quid. That hopefully will become the one well, of one of the new go tos for your starters, start start a bass phase. Well, it sounds good to me. Does yeah, definitely, definitely. <laughs> cool. All right. Uh, well, with that, I think uh, we can uh, say goodbye to the we ladies can. and gentlemen. Yeah. This has been all about the bass. Thanks for Bases. joining us. I hope this has been useful. Yeah. I um, hope you're starting. If there's a, if we're uh, well, yeah. Good, good luck yeah, on yeah. your journey, your yeah. base journey. Or maybe you're upgrading. Maybe you've just got something real cheap. You're upgrading. You know, this might be the next step for you guys. So, yeah, too right. Uh, let's hope that's been helpful for you too. Um, mm. I'm Nathan. I'm Lee. And uh, we'll see you next time. See you soon. Bye now.